Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Raccoon Feast. Raccoon Feast is a game made by Cappy Eberidge Forge, who was the creator of the last game I played, and the creator of the next game I'm going to play. But, let's go ahead and play this one right now. The teachers always warned us, never do the laundry at night. Very specific. They told us that the raccoons would feast upon our flesh. Not our clothes, but our flesh. But Yeah, I know this may sound absurd, but I always believed they just craved the stillness of the night. But I could have never foreseen that horrifying spectacle my eyes would behold on this very night. I didn't know I had to come all the way out here to do laundry, bro. It seems a little... A little dark and spooky for laundry day. All the way out in this hut? Is this like a college? Why are we doing something that the teachers literally told us not to do? Uh, no offense, but... Raccoons and eating my flesh just don't go together. Really great. What was that? Should I turn around by holding Q? Sure. Strange. Must have been an unstable surface or a sudden drift or the flesh-eating raccoons, you know? You know that thing that you warned me about at the beginning and you decided to, like... Just be like... Ah, nah, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I mean, I guess flesh-eating raccoons are pretty unbelievable, but... I, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's clearly a threat. They, they told you straight up. So now... Oh, what? We, we put this down? Just gotta... Alright, alright, there you go. So are you gonna go dry my clothes or something? I have to put it down even more? Hold on. Uh, shh. Alright, there we go. I always wondered what lay above. Uh, hopefully it's the dryer. Our departed loved ones, perhaps, living their afterlife peacefully. Oh, that got uh, too morbid already. Or maybe lurking creatures patiently waiting for an opportunity to emerge. You know, like those flesh-eating raccoons that I talked about earlier. Principal Edgar never shared the answer with us. So. Uh, okay. Now what? Oh, I got more clothes to clean? Alright. Ah, 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 ah. Bad candle. You don't go out, candle. Bad candle. No. Whoa. What was that? Excuse me? You guys see what just happened? Cause I kinda half saw it. Uh, uh What's going on? What's that sound? I'm just trying to do laundry. I'm a simple man trying to do my simple man laundry. It just seems to be a bunch of towels though. I wonder what that was stained with. Maybe Maybe blood. This one is stained with cement or something. It's so gray. Alright. No raccoons. Yeah, I guess. We're doing a lot of laundry, though. We're getting a... A, a bunch of stuff done, I guess. I guess this is my life now. Just washing up some washcloths and making sure they go up here. Uh, yeah. Pull it down. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. More bloody stain material. I'm 
gotta get used to this repetition at some point. Maybe I'm supposed to do something different. Excuse me? Oh! Oh! Uh... That... Towel? It doesn't look like a towel. Uh, it looks like the opposite of a towel, which is... Human in innards, yeah. That's the opposite of towels, right? Just some random body parts, you know? Okay, now what's going on? The whispers in the dark tell me to come down. Should I listen to them and join you in your little world? Uh... Which one's yes, and which one's no? Because my answer is no. Mm, no. Goodbye. I don't know you. I don't trust you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, what's up with this? <laughs> Ending two. No, stop it, bad boy. Get the other endings. Um, sorry, it looks like I forgot my son in the closet. Oh, that that's weird. Move around. Okay, um... Yeah, let's get to the other ending. I, uh... I just gotta... Just, just gotta take this. Just gotta... Hold on, got it. Sure, what if I say yes? Is that the answer you wanted? That's why you killed me? You want me to accept you immediately? I guess. Hi! Hey there, little one. You look even more beautiful than from above. Are you gonna eat my flesh? What? I mean, thanks, I, I guess. <laughs> Is he flirting with me? Would you mind if I take a bite or two? I I mind a bit, actually. A bite of what? And what exactly are you? Okay, trust me. It won't even hurt. I don't trust you at all, huh? Hurt? What are you talking about? My dear. Would, would you be so kind as to set, uh, set H8 the old creature's hunger? Run away! <laughs> Ending one. They always come back. No, come back. I knew you'd return someday and I'll be here, waiting for you patiently. I, uh, I guess I have to return to get other endings, so you were right about that. Huh? It's not like I wanted to, though. Creepy creature of the night. Hi, man. Welcome back. So, I'm gonna just agree to letting you take a couple of bites out of me. Uh, I feel like it's gonna hurt a lot. Sure, I trust you. You random raccoon person thing. Hybrid. How does this not hurt? I, I'm, my character is not even screaming for his dear life. Huh? Am I supposed to be patient? As he devours me? I don't know. Th this feels like it hurts a lot, to be honest. It's okay, just one more bite. I think he, uh, took a little more than his fair share, if you want me to be honest with you. Because I kind of need my flesh, you know. The taste of your fear was exquisite, my dear. Your demise wasn't in vain. It added a certain flavor to the night. 
Oh, I got all my endings, except for the secret ending. Oh, how do I get the secret ending? Maybe I'm supposed to burn something to the ground, as it says. What? That's not what I meant to do. Uh. 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 Uh? Why do I have to look behind me again? <laughs> okay. Maybe I can knock over a candle or something. Yeah, there has to be a reason that we have to turn around, right? Maybe we turn around to burn things down. Actually, I don't think I should have to do this part again. Now that I think about it. We're already here. So... Apparently, I really like laundry. It's my favorite thing to do in my spare time, is play this game and... And do laundry. This is the only aspect of the game I really like. You know? I, did, I get- I didn't feel useful. Like I'm helping something. Whoa! How dare you! Oh yeah, there was that little part too. That was interesting. I think that's like a representation of the raccoon looking down on me. Probably. There's nothing back here, ever. My answer will always be no, because that's the logical answer. But you get mad at that. Okay. Can I set this house ablaze now? Please. Please. Let's... <sighs> no. Just... On the ground somewhere? Just... <sighs> Am I supposed to grab anything, or...? I doubt your dearly departed loved ones are up there. Just to be honest with you. Happens so quickly. That sound was unsettling. I should probably be concerned about that. I like the uh. The paper on fire. <gasps> I got it! Secret ending. Burn to the ground. You were on the verge of slipping away, Sophia. I prefer you raw, but... I won't complain either. Sophia! Oh my gosh. I'm adult Sophia in this one? Or young? Why is Sophia out here in the middle of the night doing laundry when the principal told them not to because of flesh-eating records? Sophia just gets herself in so many situations. Okay, Sophia is reckless. 
But at least she has a friend. Okay. Alright. That was, um... That's not what I meant to do. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, th that was raccoon faced, you guys. Let's go for the original answer. I guess the raccoon doesn't like his meat cooked all that much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.